Cotton. Field team leader? Cotton, the hunter's been putting far too many resources into the steamworks recently. And let me guess it got overloaded. Well, yes. But in the meantime, we have devised a way to transfer kinetic energy directly into electricity. Ah, yes, of course I understand, but maybe explain it more for my palico? The more movement we have, the more electricity we produce. The only problem being that we don't currently actually have anyone or anything capable of creating enough power for the entire base. Oh, the, the spinning count? Uh, yeah, I suppose spinning counts. Ha, <laughs> I'll be back! Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, it is such a fun time to be a Monster Hunter player. Between both of our fantastic variant reworks, there is so much fun and so much challenge before us. Ready to test us, but once you defeated both of them, what else is there to do? Well, screw around with their equipment, of course! My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? And by screw around with their equipment, I do mean screw around with both of their equipment, and even a little bit more because this is no regular build. No, this is the first real build with three different two-set bonuses that is genuinely effective, and past that it is a genuinely good hammer build too, that also works perfectly well as a starting point for a cool elemental build for other weapons at the same time. Because today, my beautiful little bamboo shoots, I present to you a build that I like to call the Angry Wheel of Fortune. Starting off with why this build exists, followed by what the build itself actually is, and then the playstyle to adopt while using this build. As for the why, well, first off, there's the novelty of having three two-set bonuses. It's just, it's fun to say, and at least personally, I think it's really cool to be able to do something like this in the game, and see it not just in an actual set, but in a proper, functional, offensively powerful set. It takes advantage of elements, which is not all that common to mess with for Hammer, and you have one clear objective while using this set. Spin. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick! And while this is true for most hammer sets, as the sliding spin attack move is just the most efficient offensive motion in the hammer's move set, this set particularly emphasizes that with a mix of two things. Maximum Might Secret with full rank, so we have an extra 40% affinity while at maximum stamina, and Stamina Surge 3 to let us recover stamina significantly faster. What this means is because of the way the charge timing and stamina regen interacts, that every Every single charge attack you can do with the hammer will have max might active when it connects, assuming that you start the charge from max stamina and release it as soon as it hits the correct level. That's right, even the level 2 charge, which is a straight jump forward quick attack, takes just the right amount of time to activate maximum might again. Nice. This build is really sort of oddly perfect, to the point where you can play this like a normal hammer build and still have Max Might active most of the time, but it really shines when you play it to its strength, which is mostly spinning down slopes and the spinning clutch clock combo that follows a full charge strike. And none of what I told you, not even a touch of it, goes over how cool this build gets with the other two set bonuses that it has going on. This thing is truly a work of art. Moving on to the build then, and starting with the weapon itself, today we will again Again, be using Safi Jiva's eye. What have I done? In the form of his hammer, and as this is an elemental set, the specific one you choose is based on the element you want to bring on the hunt you're doing. For demonstration purposes, I am using the ice hammer, though any of the elemental hammers works perfectly in this build with minimal shuffling of skills. The awakening abilities are element up six, three element up fives, and Velcana divinity. The little secret bonus that gives this set critical elements. I really wasn't kidding when I said this was an elemental hammer set, and then the weapon augments are two element upgrades and a health regen. Just because health regen augment is such a comfortable and enjoyable quality of life experience that I will always try to fit it into a build if I have the chance. As far as the equipment itself goes, you may have guessed the third and final set bonus is Agitator Secret from the Raging Brachydeos 2 set. For a whopping set bonus combo of critical element, maximum might secret, and Agitator Secret. It's beautiful. And what you'll likely notice instantly is three things. First up is the weakness exploit and agitator combo on top of maximum might. This build has affinity out of the wazoo, going to 95% against a weakened part on a non-enraged creature and topping out over 100% against an enraged one. It also has divine blessing as a positive consequence of the set. Yes, we do just get to be that little bit safer. And thirdly, there is no element attack up on the armor itself or even on the charm. It all comes from decorations and 
and as a result, is entirely swappable for another element. This set is a legitimate elemental template, and it really is as easy as stick on the other weapon and stick in the appropriate elemental decorations. That's right, it's not just cool, it's convenient too! Damn! Filling in the decorations then, the build as a whole really cleans up some of its finer points. And as a whole, the set has 7 Agitator for a ton of raw attack and a chunk of affinity against enraged monsters, 6 Ice Attack as we are using an ice weapon and this doesn't put us over the elemental cap, 5 Maximum Might for 40% increased affinity whenever our stamina bar is full, 3 Critical Boost as we have 100% crit, 3 Weakness Exploit, 3 Stamina Surge to regen our stamina as quickly as possible, 3 Divine Blessing as a sort of bonus. 1 health boost because health boost is just immensely important against harder foes, 1 handicraft and the 2 set bonuses of critical element, maximum might secret, and agitator secret. Now of course my decoration collection still isn't quite perfect, and as such if it was then both the mighty jewel and the arms and the mighty jewel and the legs would be mighty slash vitality, maxing us out at 3 health boost, and the handicraft jewel and the legs would be flight slash handicraft for increased damage on jump attacks, or possibly even handicraft plus for more sharpness if you know you aren't going to be doing Doing many jump attacks on the quest in the area you're in. What you may notice after this is that there is still one empty slot in the armor and no jewels in the mantles, which are temporal and rock city by the way. This set as is, the way it is laid out, is as technically perfect as I can make it. The only improvements from here are personal preference or just a slot for a free quality of life skill. So use these extras however you wish and the set will still work just the way it should. You wanna try it? It spins really well. As far as the playstyle of this build goes then, well, that's the great part about this. You can use it like a normal hammer. Golf swings, big bangs, charged attacks, and because of the synergy, unless you go around holding charge and doing nothing like a madman, you will always have maximum might active before your biggest hits. That said, because this is an elemental build, there are a couple of things to consider working into that playstyle to really make the most out of it. The main one is actually your clutch clock combos. Most specifically, the full charged clutch combo, which sends you spinning into the monster, hitting it multiple multiple times with a nice big extra thwack at the end. This just piles damage onto a monster in quick succession. As long as you use it on a safe body part at a safe time and as a hammer, if that part happens to be the head, this thing is also pretty fantastic for stunning a monster too. So if you happen to use charge attacks of any kind, always be looking to follow them up with this. On that note, if there are any sort of jumpable objects or slidable surfaces or even wedge beetles around the place that you can use for jumping and sliding attacks, those should be your absolute highest priority at all times for three reasons. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. They are just your best attacks, even normally, but especially elementally, because of how you can combo them in Iceborne. For example, the sliding spin attack, when fully charged, still has 100% stamina before the last few hits, which are the biggest, meatiest hits. And it can then be followed by the spinning clutch claw combo for a massive amount more spinning damage, which is great for element. Or just a quick golf swing combo if the clutch claw isn't safe. Jumping attacks are amazing as well, as the level 3 charge one results in the same combo ability with the spin attack, and the two level charge jump attack does something I really enjoy too, because if you follow it with a triangle hit you will then do the regular two charge attack, which then can also be followed by the two charge clutch combo for a nice whopping pile of damage. These are possible anytime you are around a slidable surface or a jumpable wall, and they are just such unbelievably good damage, both raw and elementally speaking. But that said, outside of these being slightly more effective than normal, the rest of the normal hammer playstyle simply works perfectly with this set, even with maximum might. And if you really want to take it to another level, you can use dash juice with the set too, so your stamina surge has less to regen before activating maximum might. Though in my experience, this isn't necessary at all, just a nice bonus to have around. And all of this said, I must say, this build is really cool. It's fun to play, but also really neat from a theory standpoint as it takes advantage of three different set bonuses, but in a way that doesn't make the final set weaker in any way, shape, or form. Instead, actually synergizing together to create an absolute elemental juggernaut of a build that I would recommend to anybody to try out. Alright everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur and this has been my Angry Wheel of Fortune Hammer build. Do you like this build? What other crazy and unique build ideas would you like to see us try out in the future? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet.
This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love So let's start with something simple and say Oh we love your eyes When they're watching us play video games When we make a bunch of jokes that are kinda lame Or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters Or important important news about the kingdom and Amelia Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here Talking about the things you want to hear So if you want to be the first to hear Like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer Some of you are patrons even though We are all the noobs and you're the pros There's nothing we can do to thank you No, really, there's nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.